Hello, everyone, and welcome to another episode of One Spirit Speaks podcast. Hope you all are having a super fantastic week, and let me be the first to say happy Thanksgiving, everyone. Um, yeah, and I also want to give a shout out to my granddaughter, Jacelyn. Jacelyn is turning 10 today. We've already had our party, but you know, today's official birthday. She is a cusper. We're here on the first day of Sagittarius. Guys, if you're seeking to contact me, it is JackieTomlin.com. If you're looking for the YouTube videos, it is YouTube.com backslash Psychic Jackie. Um, and I want to warn of some social media scams, okay? And this happens quite often, so this won't be the first time you heard this from me. But as of right now, every social media that I'm actually on is actually, there is either a link or it is announced on my homepage at JackieTomlin.com. If you are speaking to someone that you feel is me uh, and it's not one of those links, it is not me. So either report it or ignore it. It is a scam. I will never reach out to you in any form or fashion, particularly soliciting for a reading, okay? Uh, and, and my pictures are public. So yes, these profiles are using my, my pictures as well. So Today, let's talk real quick about what you're thankful for, you know, and everyone, you've got something to be thankful for, whether it's your health, your family, your home. Some of you are thankful for new beginnings and that we get new beginnings. There's something to think about. I personally, I have got too many things to count to be thankful for, which is a blessing in itself. And uh, most of all, I want y'all to know I'm thankful for you. I'm thankful for my viewers. I'm thankful for my listeners, my followers. Um, you guys are what keep me going. So, yeah. And if you guys are one of those that are alone for the holidays and instead of getting depressed, let's make some useful time. Take this as a useful time for yourself. Okay. You don't have to go anywhere to do energy work to work on yourself or to take that journey inwards and know, like I said, be thankful. There's always a new beginning. All right, gang, let's get into these messages from spirit. Let's get into these messages from spirit. We're going to do a breakdown from Aries through Pisces with a quick collective here at the end. Again, I hope you guys are having a fantastic week and this is going to run from Wednesday to Wednesday. Okay, so we're going to try to narrow this down for the next week here. We are closing up the end of November. It's hard to believe this year has gone by so quick that we are here at Thanksgiving. Chris will be here before you know it. How many of you got your trees up? Let me know. Just kind of curious. All right, let's see what we have. Messages for Aries. What do we have for Aries? Aries, um, you may be traveling by ocean front because I am seeing the ocean front for you guys. And it is specifically the ocean that I'm seeing. So maybe perhaps a cruise or something is online for you guys. There is the signing of a legal document. Okay, this could be a large lease and or purchase. This has something to do with a new beginning. It does have something to do with restoring your balance, to be quite honest with you. You are also dealing with another Aries. There is another uh, small wish granted here. Wow. Honestly, I think, Aries, you're coming up into an era. You're going to have several wishes granted, but I do see one being granted between now and next week. Uh, total victory uh, coming up for you and remain positive. Of course, you've got that entertainment and celebration. I mean, it's Thanksgiving. So, yeah. Um, there is a quick glimpse of your temper, so be warned about that. I don't see a confrontation, which is good, but I do see a quick glimpse of your temper. There is some intensity and love for my Aries. This applies for my singles as well as my couples. And some of my singles, you've got someone brand new coming into play. Get ready for a very fast pace. It's also time for you to make decisions you're putting off. You guys are surrounded by this healing energy. It's just kind of like embracing you and, and just surrounding you. Uh, and that's whether it's physical or whether it's mental or whether it's emotional. You are definitely surrounded by this healing energy. And expect real sudden and quick changes here in the next week. And they're going to be leading to you to something good. Now, some of you can be dealing with a musician. Or perhaps you're looking at uh, taking up an instrument, but I am seeing something to do with music. 
that's what I have going on for my Aries. Looks good. Looks really, really good. Energy looks good. All right, let's move on to my Taurus. What's coming up for Taurus? Right, Taurus. You guys may be feeling a little bit alone and empty uh, inside. Don't don't get stuck into those holiday blues, okay? Keep yourself busy. And like I said, do some energy work. Remain positive. You're under a strong manifestation period. And you don't want to manifest the negative because you can. So make sure you keep your energy positive. Uh, you also have the signing of a legal document or contract. And it's definitely something that you will get what you want. Now, in matters of the heart, specifically, it shows that what at first appears to be a disappointment is actually turning out to be a best blessing in disguise for you guys. And you do get what you want, but it's coming in a form that you were not imagining. There's good luck and abundance and, and new money coming in. There's a Virgo energy around you as well that jumps out pretty prominently, as well as an Aquarius uh, there's been a lesson well learned. You need to maintain your focus because everything you want is within reach. It's just, it's that waiting game. It's the waiting of waiting for those doors and those opportunities to open, which I do see happening, but I can't say I see it in the next week. Okay. But by all means, continue to strive for just that. Okay. All right. My gems are next. Gemini. What do we have going on for you? I like the energy of Gemini today. Just happy-go-lucky, kind of carefree, laid back. I like it. Okay. Well, yeah, I was talking about uh, the calm before the storm, getting the rest before further development, small wishes granted. This has uh, been a lesson well learned here. Somebody has taught you a lesson. Okay. And you're moving past that, which is good, 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 good. Okay. Uh, you may be dealing with an Aries or a Scorpio. I want to throw that out there. Uh, we also have fear and worries are leaving and an Aquarius coming into play. Okay. It does let you know one thing. You're on the right path. Okay. And when you're on the right path, it means you're doing all you can do. And when you're doing all you can do, that's when you rest and enjoy things. Because the calm before the storm is talking about that. Getting the rest that you need before you head into this fast pace. There will be new doors opening up for you. Okay, and a small wish granted. And this again, it's about getting things under control. Everything you want is within reach. You're being delayed for a reason. Okay, those reasons are unknown to us, but those delays are, are for a reason. There will be new opportunities, and you're going to have to dig for your patience. Just want to throw that out there as well. Uh, expect good luck and abundance, new money coming in. You're going to get what you want, but it's coming in a form you're not expecting. There's a caution for my gems to slow down. This is in your vehicle, at work, and at home. Particularly at home, avoid accidents at home at all costs, okay? You need to stop beating yourself up. You need to move forward and stop procrastinating, and you need to take that abundance mindset here okay you need to understand the way i see things your fear and worries are gone they are slowly leaving you and slow is not the way you want to go with this but it is the way you need to go okay so across where you're being led gemini you're on the right path all righty so we have coming up for my cancers what's going on for my cancers Travel. See some travel. Travel perhaps out of state. Quick trip. Maybe some of y'all are traveling for Thanksgiving. And to all of my signs, if you're traveling or someone's traveling, please wish you safe and happy journeys. Yep. First thing I'll see, trip out of state. All righty. Answer. What do we have going on for you? This is a period of taking back your power. Look at you go. Good for you. Um, you've made up your mind. Cancer, you're a very determined sign, okay? And when you make your mind up to move forward, you're going to do just that in a very successful way, I might admit, okay? There is a caution for you to slow down, work home and vehicle, prevent accidents, bodily harm. 
Uh, and that's more, not this current week, but more towards right there at the end of the month, first part of the month. So I'll throw that out there as well. All right, Cancer, what you've been manifesting since spring is now coming into fruition. Okay, so things are moving forward for you. I want to throw out that another Cancer or perhaps a Libra may resonate with you. There's new opportunities here, and it's about taking back your power. And it's about viewing things differently, um, changing your perspective, that what at first appeared as a disappointment, and you're now realizing it was a blessing in disguise, okay? Um, now, let me say this, delays are in your favor, and I know y'all get really irritated when I say that, but this is what I'm talking about. Delays are in your favor. If your car stall stalled out mysteriously for 30 seconds and then never happened again, that 30 seconds may have prevented you from being involved in an accident. It's in your favor. You're also going to put a stop from being used by someone. Now, you are one of those. You can get stuck in your head very easily. Don't allow that. You're doing that journey inward. You are healing. Don't allow the depression to sneak in. It is time for you to make decisions. Okay? It's time for you to make decisions you've been putting off. And there's a quick glimpse of your temper so i want to throw that out there today it's very brief and passing you are if you're separated from someone or something you need to know is just temporary and that there's new money coming in um and i also see some of you guys are really readjusting your self-esteem and i want to say that from what I can tell, looks like some of you, somebody has done a number on your self-esteem and you're in process of just kind of brushing yourself off and getting it all back together. So congratulations. Looks The energy looks wonderful for my cancers. All right, moving on into a Leo. All right, what do we have coming up for Leo? Leo, you are remaining positive. You're almost, ha, can you be too positive? You're very happy and upbeat. Perhaps you're a holiday person. You know, um, you're ready to get on with the holidays, I guess you would say. Um, I do have several people around me, around you for whatever reason. Uh, I'm guessing the holidays. I mean, I'm going to rattle off the ones that jump out, but I mean... You are definitely, like I said, you're upbeat. You're a holiday person. There's going to be a lot of people around you. Okay, but Leo, what I've got coming out here is a Sagittarius, a Libra, a Gemini, and a Virgo, and a Taurus. <laughs> so yeah, several, several people around you. Good times though, okay? There is a little piece here that's going to cause you to dig for your patience. Just bide your time, deep breaths in, deep breaths out, okay? And we have a lesson that was well learned. And of course, there is celebration with all of these people. So it's got, we got to be talking about Thanksgiving here. Okay. There is intensity and love, uh, an appreciation. And maybe you're one of those signs that is doing just what I said, tapping in and just being thankful and maybe being thankful for your significant other. It is time to move forward and stop procrastinating. And, and Leo, you are a procrastinator. I have to say that. Okay. Uh, something you've been wanting since summer is starting to come into fruition. You are under a heavy manifestation period here in the next month. So in the next month, I want you to um, really continue this upbeat energy that I'm seeing on you. It's about a new emotional path, the calm before the storm, getting the rest that you need while you can before you head into this busy atmosphere and know that I see new, 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 new opportunities, new money, new things. Just, I don't know. It looks like you're bringing in 2024 with everything brand spanking new. But that's what I've got going for my Leo. Wonderful, wonderful energy there. All right. Up next, we have my Virgos. What's going on for my Virgos? The spirit has for Virgos, digging for your patience. Just see a lot of stress around you, okay? We have new doors are opening up. And of course, there's a celebration. Uh, intensity and love is going to require the digging of your patience as well. <laughs> so you're digging in your patience in almost every aspect 
Okay. Um, Virgo, you may be dealing with a Cancer and or a Libra energy here. And you're also reuniting with someone from the past. Some of you are getting ready to take a quick trip. It'd be a trip out of state. I also have a Sagittarius and a Pisces. And there again, it's holiday time. So you'll be surrounded by a lot of people. Um, you've learned a lesson, hard earned lesson, but now it's time to make decisions because of that lesson. It's about getting things under control and it's about recognizing and embracing that everything you want is within your reach. Reuniting, reconnecting with someone from your past, uh, whatever your fears and worries are with this, I don't see a problem. Okay. Um, celebration at hand there is a caution to slow down at work at home in your vehicle slow down i really want to say get your foot out the gas okay so maybe in your vehicle you're surrounded by healing energy okay that healing energy is talking about um it's just that i think it's an emotional healing someone's done you wrong and you're you're healing from that okay there's good luck and abundance bottom line is you're being led on a different path a new path a better path but this path is leading you to total victory and i think with each passing day you're starting to grasp that and wrap your head around it it's a big transition for you but it's also the right transition for you so that's what i have going on for my virgos up next, we have my Libras. What spirit has for my Libras? Overachiever is what I'm hearing. You're overachiever. Okay. Let's see what we have. Libra, you're kind of, you're really waiting for the winter months here. You've got something big planned there. That's when you get what you want. Okay. You could be dealing with an Aquarius and an Aries, and a Taurus. Uh, you're in that frame of endings, closures, and new beginnings. So a cycle is ending, and a new cycle is going to commence. That new cycle may involve a Leo. Um, I'm telling you to get lost in the music. You know, music does something for you, perhaps in the lyrics or something like that, or maybe you're a musician. But you need to stop beating yourself up over something. You're beating yourself up over more than one thing is what I can tell here. Okay, so stop beating yourself up. If you're separated from someone or something, it is temporary and you need to move forward. Even though you're under an ending right now. You know, I tell you all the time that, you know, you can't have a new beginning without an ending. And it looks like this particular week, you're in a, a closing out cycle. So this is setting you up for a strong, powerful new beginning. It shows me you do get what you want. Not coming in the form you thought it was, but you will get what you want. There are new doors opening up for you. And there's something here that you're going to be ready to celebrate. And that's outside of your get together for Thanksgiving, there's going to be an actual celebration. Good news arriving. Good news that you've been waiting on. Expect major changes. And if I've got any singles out there, there's definitely some brief flirting coming in here. And I'm going to say the next 10 to 14 days, there's going to be some brief flirting could lead to something potential, potentially long term. So that's what I've got going on for labor. A lot of energy, a lot of energy, a lot of scattered energy because you are in a week of closures, taking you into getting what you want. But remember, it is not in the form you are anticipating. All right, Scorpio, first thing I'm hearing here is that you need to keep an open mind. There's something here you need to remain open-minded about. See what we have for my Scorpios. For my Scorpios, we have, I have something you've been manifesting since spring is coming into fruition. I love seeing this. Coming in now, right here now, this week. Nice, nice energy. Uh, it's telling you to get ready for a fast pace. Okay. Um, and you also need to work on some self-esteem issues here. Okay, surrounding you, we have a Leo and a Libra, may or may not resonate with you, as well as a Sagittarius. 
uh, you're in a, you're in the week of a new beginning, okay? And you're ready to celebrate. And I think, again, this is an addition to your Thanksgiving celebration. So there's also the signing of a legal document, a contract. I think this is what you're celebrating, whether it's a contract at work, whether it's a loan coming through. Could be a large lease or a purchase, but it's something restoring your balance and something you're ready to celebrate. There's going to be a confirmation of clarity come in, that kind of aha moment, something you suspected will be confirmed, as well as secrets will be revealed. New doors are opening up for you. You're surrounded by healing energy that's really going to empower you this week. Uh, like I said, you need to get ready for a fast pace. Dig for your patience. Now, remember, there is something here that appeared to be a disappointment. It turns into a blessing in disguise that leads to you getting what you want, but not coming in the form you expected. Okay. Dig for your patience. Fear and worry is leaving. And for whatever reason, I think this celebration, this in addition to celebration, has to do with a Libra. That's what I have for my Scorpios. All right. Up next, I have my fellow Sagittarius. Hello, Saggies. Let's see what we have going on for you. Hello, Sagittarius. See someone with long brown hair. I just cannot tell if it's a male or a female. Going to come in for an unexpected offer of assistance. Sagittarius, you have a Libra here, a Virgo, and an Aries. Capricorn, Scorpio, you're surrounded by a lot of people. Lots of people coming in to wish you holiday wishes and some I'm going to throw out that word. Definitely unexpected. Okay, a small wish will be granted. Okay, uh, it's also going to have you digging for your patience. Okay. The help that you need will be provided and fear and worries will leave. Remain positive. You are in a powerful, powerful manifestation period right now. It's almost like if you think it, you have it. Okay. Take advantage of this energy. Uh, you need to get the rest that you can while you can, because you're in that calm before the storm and hit it directly into a fast pace where it's just going to be bam, 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 one thing after the other. Take care of any self low self-esteem issues. And what we have here is a lot of scattered energy because a disappointment leads to a blessing in disguise. And now one of these disappointments is something falling through. Something you are counting on may have fallen through. It's going to lead you in a different direction and something better. Expect major changes. And I really want to say expect major changes. Put an end to someone who is using or taking advantage of you. And you guys be ready to travel. You are a traveling sign, but be ready for a very quick trip out of state. Probably with no notice. So I'll throw that out there as well. And also in the winter months, and you know, winter begins next month here in the States, you need to expect sudden changes. All very positive, but expect sudden changes. All right. Up next, I have my Capricorns. Let's see what we have going on for Capricorn. All right, Capricorn. Ooh, right off the bat, delays are in your favor. <laughs> there again, I know how frustrating that is when I say that, but it is true, okay? Something stalling out actually leads you to something better is from what I'm seeing here. Capricorn, you two are surrounded by lots and lots of people. So good holiday time. Something you've been manifesting since summer is coming into fruition and you thought it was not. Taurus, Gemini, Leo, Virgo. Just some of the signs that I'm seeing. Those are the ones that jump out. All right. So delays are in your favor and it's the calm before the storm. You are the ones that are going to struggle with being in your head or bringing your energy from the top to the bottom. Don't overthink things. Get out your head. 
The help that you need will be provided for, and you're also under a week of endings. Endings. After those endings come the new beginnings. Relax and take some downtime. And I really want to throw out there and stress this to my Capricorns. Relax. Just breathe in and breathe out. Uh, there's going to be some secrets being revealed that are going to lead you to some new opportunities. If you are separated from someone or something, you need to know that it's temporary. Uh, there's new money coming into play. You need to stop beating yourself up. There's that clarity and the dawning of a day that what you thought is coming in a different form than you expected. And you need to expect and embrace sudden changes. I'm really saying that there's kind of some kind of surprise with who shows up, perhaps either for Thanksgiving or right after that there may be some unexpected company for my Capricorns. All right. And up next we have Aquarius. All right, Aquarius, you too got a lot of energy going on around you. Virgo, Sagittarius, prominent here. Okay, something here is going to cause you to dig for your patience. Someone close to you, someone in your inner circle is coming in with an unexpected offer of, of assistance. You are in a week of a new beginning. Expect sudden changes and you do get what you want, but it's coming in a form you're not expecting. There's intensity and love for my Aquarius. And this is whether you are single or a couple. So expect good luck and abundance and major changes. You also carry that caution to slow down at work, at home and in a vehicle. Relax and take some downtime. You've got some holiday time, so don't overdo it. Okay. Um, you're moving forward. Some of you are moving so forward so quickly that you're now making plans for spring of next year. Uh, secrets are going to be revealed and you can expect a good business deal. The new beginning and new opportunities is going to bring in some good news. And this news, I think you've been waiting on because this is going to result in a separate celebration. This news that is finally arriving is something to me that you've been waiting on. And the celebration certainly has nothing to do with Thanksgiving. All right. Last but not least, we have Pisces. Y'all stick around. The collective is next. Pisces, what do we have going on for my Pisces? Okay. Pisces, I want you to be warned of your mouth, <laughs> your tongue, your quick temper. Um, you have that tongue that can cut life like a knife. And now that the holidays are here, you need to select your words wisely. Okay, you're under a, a, a week of endings. Okay, and you know those endings will lead you to new beginnings. Uh, total victory, intensity, and love, whether you're single or whether you're a couple, uh, for the love of life, you know, just an appreciation for things, just being thankful of where you're at. You're dealing with another Pisces. I'm most certain that you are. And you're also reuniting from someone from the past. There's also a Sagittarius, Virgo, and a Taurus here. Okay. Work on some of your self-esteem issues. Something you've been beating yourself up. You need to stop beating yourself up and you need to embrace that you're coming into a new beginning. And when you come into a new beginning, you need to do all things. You let the old go. Let it go. Okay. Uh, you're manifesting and you're in a strong manifestation week. So make sure you keep your energy and thoughts positive, drawn to you exactly what you want to see happen. Expect sudden changes and you will get what you want, but it comes with a twist. It's not what you were expecting. Okay. You are on the right path. You need to know that. 
What first looks like a disappointment will be a blessing in disguise. You are separated from someone or something and it's just temporary. And, you know, when it comes to, I'm going back to the communication, proceed with caution, watch your words, watch what you say. And in the next week here, towards the end of the week, you're going to put down your foot to someone who is using you or taking advantage of you. That's what I have for Pisces. Guys, awesome energies for all my signs, all of them. Now let's get into a collective, the collective reading for all of us for the next week. For the next week, what do we need to know? What does spirit have for all of us as a whole? What do we need to know? Confirmation. Confirmation's coming into something, I'm going to say, intuitively, and you knew it was coming. It's going to cause you to dig for your patience. If you're separated from someone or something, it's going to be temporary. Uh, what was first turned out looked like a disappointment will be a blessing in disguise. There's new opportunities. For my singles, there's some flirting coming into play, like the clearing of the phone. It says you are on the right path, okay? Uh, if I've got singles right here that are single in fall, I don't look for you to be single in winter. Now, here in the States, our first day of winter is December 21st. Uh, so December, January, February, you're not going to be single, okay? You're surrounded by healing energy. And for a lot of you, this is an emotional healing of someone that has done you wrong. Uh, for some, it could be a physical, but for most, it is it's an emotional healing. Now, some signs that are jumping out here are Gemini, Pisces, and Aquarius, and a Virgo and Libra, and a Taurus. Half the Zodiacs here. Like I said, it's the holidays. There's a lot of people around. There will be a small wish granted in the next week, and your new beginning part of your new beginning comes this week where I see the next big new beginning comes like more towards the end of the first week of December. Okay. You do get what you want is coming in a form you're not expecting. And something here that has been in, in the works since summer is coming into fruition. Expect good luck and abundance and relax and take some downtime. Take some downtime. Don't push yourself. Just breathe in, breathe out. Take some of that me time, okay? You remain under a very high vibration, positive time for manifestation. Keep your energy positive because you can manifest the negative as well as you can, uh, the positive. And it says to get ready for a very, very fast pace. Um, that caution to slow down and be warned of a confrontation coming up about the two-week mark. Overall, you're going to win that competition because it shows you do get what you want. But that's what I have for you as a collective. So I hope these messages resonated and that um, they were useful to you. If you guys are seeking a personal one-on-one -on -one reading, it is JackieTomlin.com and I have a menu of options over there and I am accepting personal readings. Even though it's a holiday weekend, I am working. All right, gang, I hope you have a super fantastic week. I hope you have a wonderful Thanksgiving. And to those that are spending it alone, I hope that you will take that time, make good use of that time, do some energy work on you, and if nothing else, be thankful for the new beginning at hand. You guys have a good one, and I'll see you again next week. Don't forget, contact me at JackieTomlin.com. See you then. Bye.